Okay. Uh, all right. Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, new ways to play. Hit me. What do we got? Focus okay. there. Yeah. Let's go. I believe... I'm pretty sure they're like, it's not to be a pause, Andy, but I'm pretty sure they're completely resetting everybody's skills. They've reworked the talent trees. I hope so, because I don't like being a god king, which is what we were like, what, halfway through the game? We just became a god king and we couldn't really do anything about it. We were just like unstoppable, uh, which is uh, kind of dog shit. Uh, so like, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, are you starting a fresh playthrough? I'm not going to do a fresh playthrough, I don't think. I will mess around with what's new. Just, to, just for like streams' sake of not having to add like fifty hours to the stream, uh, to play Cyberpunk. V, my favorite Merc. Welcome to Dogtown. There's a job. Coordinates provided. You know what to do. Get your ammo, assault rifle. Yeah, give me guns. Gear. I want guns this time. Thinking of buying some iron. The logical choice. Illegal weapons, cool. Damn, clean view. Home stretch. Get Although Mike said the melee was really good. Before the fight. Not a bad idea. Okay, I'm ready. Get this show on the road. Dude, I'm almost down to have the soundtrack back in my ears. Ooh. Oh, I do like chainsawing people's heads off. I do. Oh, are you throwing people at people? Oh, I'm down for that. A relic skill tree. Spatial mapping. Job done. Premium work, V. I'm closing the gig and sending you a little bonus. <laughs> that will I'm not getting all the cars. Simply. Dude, I don't know if anybody did it, but in the first one, it was almost... I think if you did everything in the game and every single event, which I did, you still had the amount of money to get, like, two of the cars. It was so fucking stupid. Like, the cost of the vehicles was astronomical compared to, like, how much actual val economy you got in the game. It was so dumb. That's all I ended with. In the last... In, the, in, my, my, in my playthrough of Cyberpunk 1, I have finished every side quest. I have done absolutely everything in the game except buy the vehicles because they were crazy expensive. It was so stupid. I was like, well, and I don't even need them. Like, it's so pointless. I don't need them. Someone dispatched a hunter. Good luck. Fucking incoming! Fire till she drops! Vehicle combat, okay. Got a net runner sent here! Self destruct? Right <laughs> That's kind of fun. Oh, the police actually matter this time. Okay. Yeah, it was weird. The police didn't matter at all. Your actions are illegal. Let me put it this way. No gun, no fun. Max tap. Time to tilt out. Fuck. That was close. Bravo, V. I only hope this one. A dangerous new district, dozens of new story quests and gigs, vehicle combat and mounted weaponry, revamped police system, combat AI overhaul, endless dynamic events and missions, redesigned cyberware and perks, all new relic skill tree and abilities, increased level cap, 100 plus new items, weapons, cyberware fashion. I really, really hope, like, the best fun I had in this game, like, the MSQ was great. Obviously, we had Keanu, and that was all good. Johnny Silverhand was a cool character. But I really hope they revisit the um, the Cyber Maniacs. That was really fun. It just was such a dead end like quest once you'd finished them all, and the 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 fucking police chief was like, "Oh yeah, GG." 
<laughs> it was so annoying. He like killed every cyber maniac. <laughs> yeah, the cyber psychos were so good. And their stories were like really dark. And I love that stuff. They were really, really dark and really interesting. And then they just went, well done. So we'll get a coffee later, I suppose. Uh, that, <laughs> if you Watch fancy it. the end of our collaboration. <laughs> you will hear from me soon. This Watch edge runners, you. dude. I swear to God. We're going over our subathon powers that you guys are getting. Yes, you are getting powers. And Chris is just like, I'm sure I can get an anime in there. I'm sure we can squeeze this in. I'm sure we can get that in. It will be no problem. I'm sure we can make it happen. I, um, <laughs> Yeah, just constantly. I am excited for this, though. Like, are we going to get this? I mean, is it worth a fresh playthrough? Maybe. Like, is this the cyberpunk we always wanted and what we played was, like, the alpha test? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. That's tough. Because the main story is still going to be the same. I find it hard to go back and replay a game where I have done a stupidly large amount of the content. Like I said, I've done absolutely everything that's in the base game except buy vehicles, which is just having the money to go and say, I own this vehicle. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I'll see how I feel at the time, I suppose. Uh, all right, Armored Core. Yes, this is this is something I want to play. It is not on the schedule. Peggy like Twelve. Know. Where there's coral, there's blood. That's how it's always been. Six two one. I've only seen Varty say it's good, but Varty is a FromSoft guy. Like, it's hard to say. <laughs> Varty got to play it. I know Varty got, like, 40 hours of gameplay in Armored Core, and it's like, it's amazing. It's super good. I mean, I trust him, but we'll, uh, it's like, you're also, like, the big FromSoft guy, so it's hard to say. Yeah, everybody's saying it's great, and they got, like, an early playthrough. We didn't. Thanks, Nups. Fucker. I haven't played the other armored cores, no. And I'm not sure how the gameplay works. That's also lock on for a lot. Gameplay looks smooth though. Maybe it's because I just don't get a boner for big mechs. I don't. The Gundam stuff doesn't grab me as hard. I don't know. It doesn't grab me. I don't know. I would like to be excited by giant mechs, but I'm not. I'll say this to you mech and Gundam lovers. I enjoyed Pacific Rim. That's, that's what I'll say. I enjoyed Pacific Rim. But I do like giant bosses, though. I alive. do. I do. It doesn't die easy. 621. It's time for work. Okay. 25th of August. I mean, yeah, it, we will. We are going to play, but like, uh, yeah. Elden Ring first, for sure. <laughs> Elden Ring first. <laughs> give me game, give me game. Killing Floor 3. Uh, I enjoy Killing Floor, but just not for longer than like a few days. Are they going to inspire me? Killing Floor I have an absolute blast with, playing with you guys usually. It's like a week or something. No, we haven't finished Elden Ring, no. I am a massive Dark Souls fan. Oh, I get Shrek. Oh, 
That's brutal. What a trailer. I think this time with Killing Floor, I kind of want to go with a set try-hard team. Last time we played Killing Floor, we just did it as a community, like anybody and everybody joined. Uh, but like, I think I kind of want to try tr uh, Killing Floor with like a set team of like fucking try-hards. Like to actually push up to the higher levels. Oops, Crusher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like real like fucking blasters. Absolute blasters. No, but you have to. You do have to limit it when it's open and open and available to everybody. You just yeah, you do have to. You can. There's only a certain limit, right? You have to like restart level one often and all that kind of stuff. I kind of think yeah. Where does this go? Uh, to the especially to the mega bosses that come in the game, shit like that. Okay, am I seeing? Oh, there's there's our boy Keanu. Okay, all right, Starfield. What are you showing me? What are you showing me? I think we're just all excited for a really good sci-fi RPG and we're hoping it lives up to it. That's what I'm hyped for. I agree. After like the hole that Andromeda left in people's hearts, you like a really good sci- I mean, I'm a sci-fi nerd. A really good si I prefer sci-fi to fantasy. Like medieval fantasy. So, so much. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Buy now to get what? Uh, old Mars skin pack. What was that? And a laser cutter. Then play Mass Effect. We've played Mass Effect. We've done it. We've done Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. People are worried about their PCs. I'm doing a PC build live on Saturday that is uh, specifically for Starfield, for a viewer. Uh, Tricepsis messaged me this morning. He's just bought a new PC with Starfield in mind. Uh, this is why we did the AMD integration with Starfield on YouTube. We were like, yeah, absolutely. People, There's, like <laughs> there's a ton of people upgrading their PCs for Starfield. Uh, absolutely happening. They're going balls deep. Yeah, uh, Tricepsis, what did he get? He got a, uh, what did he say? Uh, I pray my PC can keep up. Uh, this is what he got. Uh, he's going with the Ryzen 7700, Pog Champ. Uh, he's gone with the 4060, the TI, 4060 Ti, which should be fine. I think so. It depends on if, like, the VRAM gets chugged to hell and back. What's the VRAM on the 4060 Ti? Uh, eight. It's eight. Uh, there is a, a 16 gigabyte version. Does it say it there? Uh, oh, it says it here. Never mind. Yeah, it says it there. Eight gigabytes. Okay. That's the only thing I messed in as well. Is like, I'm, I'm definitely concerned with the recent hogging of uh, 
VRAM in some games that like yeah uh it, it, that might be a problem <coughs> uh oh video has been restricted why this is a controversial one i love alan wake peggy 18 i think alan wake's great but some people really dislike in horror story, alan wake they're only victims and monsters i'm a fan and the trick is not to end up as either but trapped by the genre I think some people just find it too slow, but I, it's such an immersive game. No! Welcome. We have a great show for you here tonight. Alan Wick, one of my all-time favorite writers, and this on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wade? I'm trying to remember it. You're the killer. The cult bleeding. No! You've got the wrong man! It's my fault! He got out! Wake has a double. Where is he now? I'm down. It looks like Silent Hill more than anything else. Compared to the first one. Yeah, I'm down. Do you know what this reminds me of? And it's more the story than anything else. Uh, I doubt anybody has seen this movie because it was not received well, despite, in my opinion, being a really good horror film. And it's also old. <laughs> uh, it was Sam Neill and Jürgen Proch now. Uh, it came out in 1994. Uh, and it was called... If I was to describe it to you, can, does anybody know this movie? I would like to test it. Okay, Broslot already got it. Yeah, yeah, Broslot got it straight away. Uh, in the Mouth of Madness. In the Mouth of Madness, it's so, so good. Actually, it has a rating of 7.1 now. It's actually uh, not considered that bad anymore. In the Mouth of Madness is a great film. I, th I think it's fucking so good. Yeah, it's well worth a watch. I'm not sure what streaming service is on these days. It is an old film, but uh, I fully, fully recommend this movie. It's creepy as balls. <clears throat> it is full Lovecraftian horror. Uh, it's John Carpenter directing... Uh, but it is full of crafty and horror. Um, Jürgen Proch now is actually only in it briefly, but he's really, really good. He's really, really good. Uh, it's 1994, though, but there is an old lady in this movie who, like, terrified me as a kid. And I can't remember how. She's so sweet and innocent as well. Oh, there she is, Frances Bay. as Mrs. Pickman. Look, look, how could she be scary? Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Right, she's just a cute little old lady. How could she possibly be, like, one of the most horrific characters in movies? <laughs> How is that possible? The Happy Gilmore Lady, exactly. She's the Happy Gilmore Lady. How would that happen? <clears throat> okay, Crimson Desert. A lot of people said this one was a really good one to look at. Let's have a look at this. Any resolution with that? Oh, it is full. I think Assassin's Creedy vibes. Assassin's Creed Dynasty Warrior feel. <clears throat> I, I don't want to play this now because of that and because of Bex's reaction. I, I don't want to play it now just because of that. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I mean, I actually just don't want to play this now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I just don't understand why I would ever be in a position where I have to save the life of a Welsh person. Like, it makes no sense to me that I would ever be put in that position. Right? It's not realistic that I would ever be in a place where I have to save a Welsh person. Like, it just makes no sense to me. But here we are. I want to watch to the end, but this feels like Witcher at home. Hmm. It depends on the writing. Like, all this is fine. This is all, like, standard stuff, but it depends on the writing. Oh, look at that thick boy. Oh, he's got fishing. Oh, game of the year, actually. Oh, you can pet a dog, though. I probably were going to put that cat in a well or something. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. All right, you're kind of getting me now. You can pie Piper. All right, you can't, it's kind of getting me a little bit. All right, we can pie Piper the rats <laughs> and lead them to their deaths. We can pie Piper the rats. <laughs> All right, you're kind of grabbing me a little bit. All right, literal rat jam. Oh, God, my brain that I didn't pick up on that. Literal rat jam. I appreciate a balloon. The balloon are very un underutilized aspects of exploration. Okay. A little bit of sci-fi element to it. All right, all right. Oh, tame the pony. Is that going to be overutilized? Maybe. Vaulting? They have vaulting? I'm into it. This looks fun. Looks like Witcher just cause. Uh, yeah, single player, I believe. And we got golems. Golems and dragons. Oh, that's a mecha dragon. I could dig on that. Okay, I'm down. That actually uh, brought me back in, actually. Yeah, down. I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Uh, Dark Forces Remaster. Get these ads out of my face. One sub, no ads. All day, every day, baby. All day, every day, baby. As a non-big Star Wars fan, I have not touched Dark Forces. Da -da, da -da. Doth we get light favors? I remember light favors. Wow, look what we had back in the day. I played the shit out of these kind of games. But I was more of a Duke Nukem boy. No ads. I take that deal. The Emperor has approved. What's up, no ads? Ones of content. Switch sub. Good value. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Have we got to see the newer version? Or is this the newer version? <laughs> This is the newer version. Uh. I 
I mean, I feel, I feel like this gimmick wears off, like, really quickly. I don't know. I feel like the gimmick wears off really quickly. Yeah, I, I almost... Uh, yeah, it, I, I kind of agree. Like, are you, how much are you charging for this? Because... It does... I mean, I, I was genuinely like, this just looks like the up original version. Which it's I think a modder could do. Just for the people that wanted to replay, I think. I mean, it's still available somewhere. This is probably fit, fitted on a fit on like five floppy disks back in the day. Right? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, not, not too much. Sea of Stars. You trying to chrono trigger me, baby? <clears throat> Solar Blade Dancer. I can dig on this. I can voice act it. Stats. Gamba? Ha! <laughs> Cooking! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm a pirate! What's up? I am 100% down. 100% down. Yeah, for sure. Crow triggers the inspiration. What up, Tricepsis? What up? Yeah, dude. 12 gigs of VRAM needed for Sea of Stars, though. That's what you're going to need. That's what you need. Yeah, I'm game. I'm totally down for that. I don't think it'll be multiplayer. No, probably not. Uh, Black Myth Wukong. Okay. Let's have a look. See. Uh, this has all been really good trailers so far. I'm, like, down for near enough every game. One of the Star Wars one I'm a little ropey on. How is he singing? A dude's got some jams. No furries. Oh, cat boys. We're looking at a soul's light. Oh, whoa, 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 what is that avoidance path? Dodge rolled, dodge through, jumps over. A DPS?
Feels a little Sekiro. Hmm. Okay. Uh, mayhaps. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1. I... <laughs> We're not going to play it, but I'll still check it out. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. <laughs> While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Wait! <laughs> Is Goro considered like a species now? Like there's just a race of those dudes? Alien and intoxicated to Earthrealmers. While our realms are at peace. Did they make Go I thought Goro was like unique. Always was. I thought Goro I mean, from my history of Mortal Kombat is like one, two, and three. That's like the limit of my Mortal Kombat. There are Outworlders who would prefer us to be. I believe the Mortal Kombat franchise now has quite a, an involved single Victor player of the campaign. War, Shao Kahn! Of the All of Outworld is grateful for his service. Is that Sub Zero? Why does he look like a poor? Get his ass kicked! Sign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort? Do not forget that, General. Oh, yeah. Don't have the bayonet here. Oh, that's cheating. You can't tag team. Once again, to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go through my history. Liu Kang, the guy who throws his hat, who is called. Oh my god, he came in in Mortal Kombat 2. Kung Lao? Raiden. But oh, this looks like Raiden at home. Johnny Cage. Uh. Why does everybody look shitter than they used to? <clears throat> they looked way better in the originals. Like, what the hell, dude? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know the rest of them. Just give me Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Let me go. I don't think I could name the whole roster. <laughs> well, Mortal Kombat 2 was the last game I went full in. Yeah, this this is this is what I remember. This was the last uh where did it go? I just had this. So it was Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Johnny Cage. I know he spits acid. Uh I'll come back to that. Sub Zero. I think this is Shang Tsung. I think they changed Shang Tsung to look like this. Uh, don't remember you. It was like Minerva and Jade, something like that. Jax, Baraka, Scorpion, Raiden. She had the two fan blades. That was pretty cool. I don't remember these three. Uh, Melina. I was close. I was close. Katana and Melina. Who was this again? What was he called? Where is Sonya Blade? Reptile. That was it. Yeah, Reptile. Where's Sonya? Did they remove Sonya Blade in two? I'm sure Sonya was in two. It was only in one. He founded with Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel. Let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. <laughs> Is it me? Raider looks or is it well shit. Champion scrawnier than usual. He has earned his place. Beba Baba Bay, baby. The very best qualities of Earth Realm's people. I am ready, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? You should face yourself for Mortal Kombat 1. Is Raider still considered to be a god? He's not a god anymore. Okay. We will destroy your champion. He will taste no victory. 
Oh, we're on a different timeline. Okay. This is like the JJ Abrams timeline. Everybody's got a tag team partner. This is like bad WWE. No fucking way. Is that supposed to be Scorpion? There's no way that's Scorpion. Bullshit. There is no fucking way that is Scorpion. Yeah, fuck that. Whoever said that, you give me a conniption, man. That is no fucking way I'm accepting that Scorpion. That's not Shang Tsung. <clears throat> it's his dad. Raiden has parents. I don't like that. My Raiden was, died with Christopher Lambert. Praise be. Praise be to our God. Where's Scorpion? Fatalities don't look as brutal anymore. Oh, here we go. Good. Yes. More. 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 Yes. Oh, hentai. Oh, no, it went too far. Who's your queen? <laughs> Dude. I used to do Babality on everybody. <laughs> Every one of my friends, I always did Babality. They would come to my house because I could do all the finishes. Forward, forward, down, high kick. Forward, down, forward, forward, high punch. Sub-Zero's ultimate finisher. Never forget. Uh, I am amazed I still remember that from when I was like 11 years old. Uh, but still, uh, I was the only one who could do the finishes, but I would always just do Babalities every single time <laughs> just to annoy them and then drag it out. <laughs> <laughs> I totally. St I, if that correct, I think it is. Hold on. If that's if that's correct, I'll be amazed. Sub Zero, uh, Fatality. That's Mortal Kombat Two, I imagine. Yeah, he had like five uh, special moves, finishing moves. Forward, forward, down, high kick. Forward, down, forward, forward, high punch. Who's your fucking daddy? Yeah, who's your fucking daddy? After all these years, I can still fucking do it. <laughs> still do it. That was the ice shatter. And all it did was freeze them and like smash them up. <laughs> I can't remember anybody else's. I This was the hardest one in the game to pull off. And it was looked so dumb. Like for real, it looked so fucking dumb. Because what you would do is you would have to like, you would stand in front of the enemy, right? And you would go, And then you would do your move. You would do all that fucking shit. And then suddenly you would like actually do the finisher. It looked so fucking dumb. Because you had to go like forward down, forward forward, high kick, forward down, forward forward, high punch. You would do all that stuff and then you would pull off the finisher. It was fucking dope. Either way, we didn't see Scorpion. Zero out of ten. Bad game. Unfortunate. And he didn't even say toasty. Toasty! Uh, all right, Cyberpunk, we had a look at. That's a graphic. <sighs> this has been my game of the year pretty much every single time it has come out. I'm terrified of a third one. Can they pull this off again? If you've never played these games, well worth it. I, I think they're like four hours long each. That's so good. 
That's so good. Looks like we're going back to the lady from one. Oh, I'm totally in. That's horrible. What the fuck? Oh, no, dude. Oh, that is horrible. <laughs> I'm totally down. I am totally down. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking... That's fucked up. That's a big fucking baby. That's what that is. That's a big baby. No date, I guess, just an announcement. Twenty twenty four. Okay. That's gonna be a special day. I, I don't think I don't know if it's gonna be separate or whatever. I don't even wanna know. I don't wanna know. Like the surprise of six and two was like oh, it was so good. Oh no. Oh fuck off. Just give us Half Life three. <laughs> Please. Please, can we just have Half-Life 3? Or even finish the Half-Life 2 DLCs. That would be fine. I don't want to play Half-Life 2 again. I've played it like eight times, man. It does, it It really pisses me off a lot that people ask for Half-Life 3, including me now, because they never even finished the fucking DLCs. Like, suck a dick. Everyone's like, oh, Half-Life 3, Half-Life 3. Yeah, we get, that would be great, but I would just like them to finish the fucking DLCs. Like, they finished them on a cliffhanger. Like, it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying that they actually finished them on a fucking literal cliffhanger. Like, it's so dumb. <sighs> I hate it. <laughs> right, never going to happen. I know. Alex is fantastic. Alex is great. I love Half-Life Alex. It's really good. But Jesus Christ, man. That story, that world is so fucking good. So good. Yeah, just a graphical update. Whatever. I'm not playing it. Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> what is this? Come on down, Joe. What do you... Peas. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in between. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. I like it. What is it? Half-Life 3 confirmed. Am I high? What's the game? 
Like, what is the game? It looks a bit like unti Untitled Goose Game, but like modernized or something. How to be British? Well, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's amazing. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it does. It's amazing. Hmm. Age of Empires. I mean, I could be down for some Age of Empires. I could. I could. I never have time for any game. We'll find it. It's not find time. Oh, on console. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, I mean, I, I forget these games are even out. Uh, was that... Oh. Ooh. Please be good. Please be good. My name is Imogen Sajet. My entire life has been study, analysis, planning. Today, the galaxy is burning. I'm not will playing Persona, dude. It's Merged too with a ship in both body and mind. Engineering is clear. comms open. Attention, all personnel. You've each just received a mission briefing. Nothing is redacted because I want you to know. I'm sure they're say. good, just not for me, okay? I'm we sure they're good. I'm not saying they're bad games. I'm not saying that. And the fifth fleet's mission: discover the source of the anomaly and stop it once and for all. I know we were expecting a simple shakedown cruise. Proximity alert. Control enemy strike craft weapons. Right. Many of and you he's still doing the full 3D movement. I hope so. Oh, they are. Yeah. We've got incoming. Have a seat. Multiple launches. Tracking lost cover. They're all over. Ask yourselves this, fleet. Who would follow a course laid by doubt? Would we already have the finest navigator of our generation? I have no doubt. We will succeed. Whatever it takes to complete the mission. Enemy strike craft coming in fast. Target your target. Split, split. Close range too high. Break. Go ahead. My name is Imogen Sajet. Now, I must be more than a scientist. I am Fleet Command. That's in February. That's going to be good. <clears throat> I, I I wonder if they'll keep the mechanic. I really hope they do, that your units persist. It, it was such a nice touch that at the end of every mission, you redocked all your army and you took it to the next mission and you started with all that army. It was so good. Like, you didn't have to rebuild researchers and shit like that. They just deployed. And it's like, I've already done this. I don't need to redo it. Like, in the Command & Conquer games, you always had to remake them and start again on each map, which worked kind of for that game, but, like, for something else. <laughs> Robocop the game. <laughs> I want a quick look at this. <laughs> this is, I think this would be a funny stream because I, I kind of think this game is probably terrible. <laughs> oh, look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need. SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. <laughs> they must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. But I'm sure they wouldn't pull such a stunt without their leader. What is the plan? <laughs> What's the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Why would you Did not you utilize RoboCop? What is the storyline? Are you for fucking real? <laughs> Why would you be like, no, no, no. We're going to put like living flesh True. in front of the bullets instead of the walking tank that's also here. 
right? No, no, no. The walking tank go and sit over there. We're going to put our fucking living guys who've got to go home to feed their children tonight instead in front of the bullets. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> he doesn't want AI to take his job, but that's the point of Murphy is he's got a human brain mixed in there, right? That's the whole point. He's, he's, he's in there. He's good. Ready or not. What was, what was it? Not ready or not. Is it ready or not? Ready or not. You're coming with me. Going to need a new plan. I so want to play this game. Oh my god, take my money. Dead or alive? Dead or alive, you're coming with me. He has automated tracking to kill everyone in the building in like three seconds. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? <laughs> this is I so bad. To serve justice cold. <laughs> Let's show our metal friend how we I'm Captain Bosch. I know you, you're dead and killed you. What is this game? It highlights objects that you can bounce bullets off. <laughs> oh, I see. The mission is to kill more people than the cops. Gotta respect it. You've gotta respect the moxie. The absolute moxie. The game, the mission is to kill more people than the police. Fantastic. Oh, we're definitely playing this. There's no way, like, this is the stuff they're showing in the trailer. You know it's going to be so much worse in game. It's going to be amazing. Some of these cutscenes are going to be Oscar worthy. Oh, oh, let's watch that melee again. That's fantastic. Yeah, do that again. Oh, I need to watch it again. It was so fucking good. Magnificent. Round of applause. Okay, apparently the Ed-209s are now wolves. Please put down your weapon. The Ed-209s used to have like a robotic growl to them, but they didn't just sound like wolves. Did, I just fall Did he just fall through the floor? What happened there? Did the floor get blown up though? He just walks on it and then it just collapses. There's no explosion. Oh, there's a little one. Okay. <laughs> oh god, have they the one voice line for the F two oh nines? Wait, no way. As long as you shoot one of them glowing panels, the bullets find enemies. Look, watch. They just go anywhere there's enemies. They just fucking, like, smart aim from the wall. Look. Look, you killed three. <laughs> uh, it's not a rail. This is an FPS. Oh, we've got slow-mo. Fuck yeah, dude. Full max pain. 
Yeah, dude. Oh, we racked up a ton of kills there. These police are just shitty. Wait, is your health constantly regenerating? He was on like 60% before. It is. His health is just constantly regenerating. Yeah, he went to like 60% health and then he's just tapped back up to 75. He is losing health, but it's just ticking back up again. I guess there's no run function. Oh, the cops are catching back up, Robocop. You got murder more people. This was a bank robbery, right? And so far... <laughs> They brought 86 <laughs> thieves <laughs> to rob this bank. <laughs> they brought 86 thieves. One of the biggest, one of the biggest fucking mafioso organizations. <laughs> it's a really big bank. Yeah, shoot the paddles. Oh, yeah, they really, really wanted to rob this bank. They looked at what Bane did in the Dark Knight, and they were like, that's rookie numbers. What's that, four people? That's no good. Oh, we broke through the 100 mark. That's it. More than 106 people were brought to rob from this bank. Robocop won! Good job, Robocop. You killed oh, more than uh, half. <laughs> I want to see the boss. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Oh, here we go. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. It's a nice, steady pace. We don't want to rush. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit. A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Oh, dialogue choices! I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. It's the so bad my mind is boggling. Supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch. And I think I found it. The document Isn't the bank manager the being held hostage costs. right now? I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam Can we like call the later? That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you no, no, don't buy it. I'll get it. And then we can all experience it together. And we don't have to give them more money. <laughs> oh, we can arrest her. But if you continue to disobey... Boo! Bad justice. She's an authorized. Arrest her, Robocop. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer. Than oh, fuck that. Arrest her. Anyway, the city owes you. We've got a job to do. Can we, hang on, let's all take a moment just to appreciate this walking animation. One more time. For the record. <laughs> it's not a trailer, it's gameplay. I wanted to see the boss. I wonder where the switch is. <laughs> Can anybody find the secret switch? I just don't know where it could be. It could be anywhere. <laughs> now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. 
The way to the vault should be open now. Okay. Thanks, Ulysses Washington. Uh, let's well, let's watch the hostage situation. It's gonna be good. I'm you know Captain Bosch. Game dev is my passion. Is it bad that Brian, the TTS guy, has better delivery than the game's voice actors? Oh my god. That is Wait. That is literally downloaded. Right? That is just like straight ripped from an assets website. That is like just a gif of <laughs> blood splatter. Like it's so stupid. <laughs> Robocop. Robocop. Founder would send his best. We're not done yet. I'm Captain Bosch. I am no fool. The man in the suit is the Interrupting real the fucking Punching dialogue. The Are you crazy? I need to hear it. You fucking spoiling the dialogue, man. I'm Captain Bosch. Robocop game guest starring Doom Guy. Look, we've got to focus up here or I won't know the story. I need to know the story. We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. He was right next to you. What? What's going? How did you not? What? He literally got up from your knees. What do you mean? Robocop. Robocop. Would send his best. <sighs> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead, so I didn't end up like you. You don't have a single wound. Why would you play dead? You have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'm Captain Bosch. No one bother with the bomb strapped to my chest. It is fine. <laughs> Let's assess what's going on here. I need you guys to understand the lore of this scene. So, <clears throat> there's a bomb that's going to go off. Yes, our man has a bomb strapped to his chest. That's fine. It's the bomb that's going to blow up the bank's money, which is insured. That is the bigger issue here. Now, Robocop rightly suggests maybe we should call the bomb defusal expert. Max Becker instead suggests that he saw a kid doing puzzles perhaps that would be a better choice okay i saw that off look here we go robocop you have to defuse it the explosion could cause the company enormous losses right so the bank manager very concerned about his job i'm captain right bosh so. why need the support robocop 2077 it's good i need the support of a combat engineer which makes a lot of sense, Robocop, is to get the bomb defusal guy in there. However, Max Becker has a significantly better idea. We should ask. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, there's, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but... There's no time for him to just patch through to bomb defusal, which is clearly on site because this is a hostage situation with a bomb. So they're already there. There's not enough time to go here. Hold this. <laughs> but this conversation is fine. Just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping... Are you looking for a bomb diffusing chapter in the police manual? This exists. 
This exists. This actually exists. This is incredible. This is incredible. Found it. I'm Captain Bosch. Keep in mind that this is a trailer oh, no. that the devs made. Okay. It's not. They chose to show it's us not. this. This is the game exclusive gameplay that IGN got. This is someone from IGN playing it, I think. Tell me what you see. All right. Are you ready, puzzle gods? <laughs> Search for clues. Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Thank God we had our advanced AI technology to figure this out. I believe it's C4. <laughs> I could be wrong. Let me just scan it again to make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. We're actually playing dispose of this Noise bomb. 56 months. The fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. It's in the manual. To the diagram, you should they fused this bomb so many times, it's printed in the police manual. Is what we're going with. Is this bomb has been used so many times they had time to do a diagram of it and print it in the current copy of the police manual that they take with them. That's what we're going with. Okay, to chapter four, dumbass. Did you not do your homework? <laughs> three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. Oh shit. There are two different color twelve volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. I will have to improvise. Just remember, detach the one with the highest voltage first, then proceed down to the lowest voltage. How are we not playing this now? What's the improvise? What are we going to do? What are we improvising with? Oh, you're just picking one. Bomb disarmed. Okay. was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Because I need to make a withdrawal. Like, now. There's 110 corpses in the room! What do you mean? Well, I should really 110 lives were lost! CP. Money comes first. Now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. We're living in a world where the company OCP comes to take cash from the vault that hasn't happened since like 1964 or some shit like the got like, i'm ocp and i need my bags of cash from the vault to, to build new cities great now out of my way They got away with all OCP's cash. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Again, a hundred corpses outside. should be proud to work for such a great man at this rate soon there might be no one left to work for. uh we're in spoiler territory now i think this is well worth a look robocop rogue city perfect just a city gone mad 45 quid <laughs> bargain absolute bargain <laughs> <laughs> Three, six, 
Oh, it's now in September next month. Add it to my wish list, mate. What's their actual trailer to sell the game? You came to clean up your city, didn't you? It it's open world? Oh, to the ground. Believe me, just burn it off. Come back with a warrant, cop. All right. Dad, we'll sell to you. Drugs in the basement. I will take care of that. Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. No chance! Watch out! Fire Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is an utterly bullshit trailer <laughs> that does not play anything like the actual game. <laughs> what we have here is a classic case of absolute bullshit trailers. <laughs> actual fake trailer. <laughs> oh, well, they still didn't get the melee right in the trailer. That's okay. so good i actually can't wait that is like uh we will play this on release day though uh i know people are concerned about spoilers but honestly our mission here is to weigh up the pros and cons of like some games that come out on the day some games where i'm pretty sure you're all going to play through it and you want to experience the story like uh more in a vicarious kind of way but this one i've got to be honest like my heart and soul is really set on this experience so it will be a day one play so i understand if many of you don't want to be here that day we'll make sure it's well announced so you can take a day away from the stream and you're not going to miss anything uh and the vods will be available after okay uh i'm booking holidays for it how long do you reckon it is uh, all right, according to uh, the interwebs, yeah, 45 quid for the PS5 version. Uh, it's it's already seemingly available on G2A for 32. Uh, 50 quid uh, on Xbox. Uh, yeah, it's got to be 50 quid. I think four hours at best. Uh, they are using Unreal Engine 5, though, so we can expect it to really be uh, at the cutting edge of technology. This is in, in Engine. <clears throat> So it should be fine. <sighs> it should be good. Yeah, yeah. That's gross. That's absolutely gross. We got the Guild Wars 2 trailer, which we saw. Oh, a remaster of Turok? Okay, I thought they were giving us a new Turok. Uh, Expeditions of Mudrunner game. Pass. Hard pass. Uh, Robocop, here we go back. Slash, oh, slash. <sighs> the new Assassin's Creed. كم مضى منذ رحيلك عن بغداد؟ أعوام. لا أذكر مقدارها. Did they translate in the subcaptions? Is that what it was on? كنت أعرف دائما أنني سأعود يوما ما. لقد عاد للتو من الجرح كنا في المتجر. وليدا. قضيت الكثير من طفولتي في هذه الشوارع. I do not know Arabic, unfortunately. <laughs> I know the ultra basics of about 20 languages, but that's it. I could get a beer in any country. 
مستتر يتهيأ لإعادة النور إلى أحلك أركان المدينة I think I've done this uh, mission in full stealth a couple of times in an Assassin's Creed game, but not many. Not many. I kind of agree with that. They're just a touch too long. Like, I think that's where they went. Hopefully, they're bringing it back into being a much more reasonable and condensed experience. I don't need 150 hours of the game, you know what I mean, for an Assassin's Creed experience. That's not... That's, that's okay with me. Okay, this was the big news. Activision Blizzard is coming to Ubisoft Plus. So, this is deal. <sighs> yes, you read that right. Ubisoft today announced the signing of an agreement which will give Ubisoft cloud streaming rights to games like Call of Duty and more coming into effect upon completion of the Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard. The agreement includes the complete slate of current Activision Blizzard games as well as all their new titles launching in the 15 years after the closing of Microsoft acquisition of Activision. The games will land on Ubisoft Plus while also allowing Ubisoft to license them to cloud gaming companies, service providers and console makers. I mean, that's every game. <clears throat> uh, with a single subscription to Ubisoft and multi-access, players will soon be able to play their favorite Ubisoft games and stream their favorite Activision Blizzard games across multiple platforms, including PC, Xbox, and Amazon Luna, and on the PlayStation platform through Ubisoft Plus Classics. The agreement will offer players even greater access to a larger library of beloved and classic titles as well as the newest releases, all through cloud streaming. Cloud gaming allows a wide range of content to be accessed on a multitude of devices, giving players even more ways to play on a broader range of hardware. Uh, we're dedicated to delivering this experience. Bah, bah, bah. Uh, Ubisoft will now more. So this is in response to the UK blocking. Uh, yes. The UK blocking of the situation, uh, which is an interesting bypass uh, of the problem that they're having yeah oh, fantastic right yeah fantastic uh yeah let's get a bit more details we've got the verge here not the best but we'll do uh microsoft is restructuring its proposed activision blizzard deal to transfer cloud gaming rights for current and new activision blizzard games to ubisoft the transfer of rights is designed to appease regulators in the uk that are concerned about the impact microsoft's proposed 70 billion deal will have on cloud gaming competition the restructured deal has triggered a new regulatory investigation in the UK that could last until October. <clears throat> to address the concerns about the impact of the proposed acquisition on cloud game streaming raised by the UK Competition and Markets Authority, we are restructuring the transactions to acquire a narrower set of rights, says Microsoft President Brad Smith. What a boring fucking name. Uh, this includes, I mean, you've got Bowser who works at Nintendo, it works. This includes ex executing an agreement effective at the closing of our merger that transfers the cloud streaming rights for all current and new Activ Activision Blizzard PC and console games released over the next 15 years to Ubisoft Entertainment. A leading global online publisher. The, so the rights will be in perpetuity. The restructured deal means that if Microsoft does close its proposed acquisition, that it will not be able to release Activision Blizzard games exclusively on Xbox Cloud Gaming. Microsoft won't be able to exclusively control the licensing terms of Activision Blizzard games on rival services either. Instead, Ubisoft will control the stri uh, streaming rights to Activision Blizzard games outside of the EU and license titles back to Microsoft to be included in Xbox. Ubisoft will compensate Microsoft for the cloud streaming rights to Activision Blizzard games through a one-off payment and through a market-based wholesale pricing mechanism, including an option that supports pricing based on usage, explains Smith. It will also give Ubisoft the opportunity to offer Activision Blizzard games to cloud gaming services running non-Windows operating systems. <laughs> Ubisoft will also add Activision Blizzard games to its Ubisoft Plus multi-access subscription, which is available across PC and Xbox, uh, and blah, blah, blah. The UK's Competition and Markets Authority first blocked Microsoft's deal in April, 
citing cloud gaming concerns before agreeing to negotiations with the Xbox maker following the Federal Trade Commission's loss in a, in a U.S. federal court last month. Now the CMA has signaled a new investigation phase thanks to Microsoft's restructured deal, with a statutory deadline set for October. The same deadline that Microsoft recently agreed to in its extension of the deal closing date with Activision. A source familiar with Microsoft's plans tells The Verge that the company now isn't expecting to be able to close its deal until early October. The CMA has now imposed a final order on Microsoft's original deal, prohibiting it worldwide while it investigates this new restructuring of the proposed deal. Ubisoft will be able to, will also be able, for a fee, to require Microsoft to adapt Activision's titles to operating systems other than Windows, such as Linux, if it decides to use or license out the cloud rights to Activision titles client gaming services. <clears throat> this is uh i don't know this uh, I, I don't know what the c the c the cloud gaming service i don't know enough about it you know what i mean yeah i don't know enough about it and why uh what's going on with the cloud gaming thing i don't use it like in any way shape or form i mean ubisoft is all right which gaming companies do you like especially the mega ones do you really trust i mean it feels like a win for the user though Right? Depending on what it's like monetized to hell and back. I don't see how this isn't a win for the users. Uh, not running a game. Negligible? I mean, for some people, like, it does look like we will get access to a lot of new users if you want to play those on these on these services, which I think is a win. <laughs> the whole one user? No, when these games come over to there. Cloud gaming might become a big deal in different parts of the world. Like, we don't need it right now, but uh, I do know that actually during the uh, hurricane in California, uh, a lot of people use cloud gaming as a backup uh, because of all the... the the difficulties they were having with infrastructure is they went to cloud gaming. Like they transferred over to that process. We'll have to see how that goes. I've not played anything cloud gaming that hasn't been slow. Even over my own network, I tried that uh, Steam box. <clears throat> I can't remember what the name of it was. Steam Deck? Not the Steam Deck. Whatever that thing was that you, pl you put in your living room that played the games from your PC on your TV. Uh, Steam Link. Yeah, yeah, Steam Link. I tried Steam Link here, and I have a pretty solid internal network at the house. And it it, well, it was still too delayed. Uh, it didn't work out too well. It was, it was fine with, like, games where it didn't actually matter too much where the response time was, but it was still too delayed playing over the network. But technology is always getting better. Uh, Sonic Frontiers. Ah, I don't care about Sonic. Lords of the Fallen, which... I mean, Lords of the Fallen's been available for ages. The First Descendant. All right, what's this? We must follow the will of the ancestors. Space! Accept your calling, Descendant. The Descendants are risking their lives. Lords of Fallen does look great. It's uh, seen so much on it over the last few years. Rise, my warriors! Give your lives for the people! The Ironheart! This could wipe out all of the Volgus, right? That's so cool! Countless descendants have shed blood to protect the sanctity of oh, this the air is... The air is arising. Their efforts, They're spreading. The is still at risk of extinction. And you... are the only chance we have. Looks like a kind of open world warframe. <clears throat> reminds me of uh, Returnal 
You guys remember Eternal? Dope game. It was the roguelike with the lady who kept reliving her life over and over. These look a lot like Returnal. You guys can't see anything but Booba any day of the week. Hmm. Let's see what its twist is. I'm not seeing like what's the uh, the separator from other similar types of games. Need to see what that is. Uh, that's what I want to do. Special Zenless Zone Zero. Uh oh, I, I smell IAR coming. Hold. Hold. I can smell it. Like a dating game? Gamba! Snake? Really? We're playing Snake? Like blue protocol. Was that lady dressed as a maid? Right. Why? Why always with the maid outfits? Why? Why always with the maid outfits? I just don't understand. Somebody, <laughs> she's serving justice clock, man. <laughs> Why not? I don't, maybe that's her job. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's her job. She could she could have just been a maid. She's just finished her shift. I shouldn't prejudge, I suppose. <laughs> and this one? <laughs> and what's your justification for this one exactly? If you uh if you wouldn't mind filling me in. <laughs> He's just a good boy. <laughs> He's just a good boy. Oh, that's what it is. He's just a good boy. That's all. He's hot, okay. <laughs> He's Roger Brown. Watch 10 seconds of this. I refuse. Zedless Zone Zero character creation. <laughs> Okay, hey, this is a pass. We're not playing this game. This is a pass. We will pass on that one. That's uh, <laughs> that's gotta be a pass from me, thankfully. Ara, history untold. Okay. Hey, would you guys be super pissed if we had a session at some point next year where I played Anno and wrecked everything? Just curious. I kind of want to play Anno, but like, I know that's gonna be like a 40, 50 hour game minimum, right? All right, just checking. Just checking. <clears throat> I want to play it. It's one of those games that's like a bit of a commitment. I don't know which channel. The new one or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Schedule's in the mud. Oh, maybe we just play this. It's nice. Oh, I could destroy this city so easily. Let's go back to the beginning. There, the world untouched. No thrones ascended. Oh, murder those no animals. They're resources, baby. Them. Just people waiting to be led somewhere extraordinary by you. They need a god. Oh, we will play Skylines too. Yeah, for sure.
Will you be wise? No, no, no. Don't educate the people. They'll never vote for me Will again. You inspire? You know what I really want? I want Tropico 6. However you choose to change the world, one thing is certain. History will never be the same. Oh, the next Tropico. Tropico 7, wherever they're up to now. Dude, that's that world we made in the last Tropico game was so good. Like, I had such a good military border around my base, uh, around my uh, my home, so that the paws couldn't get near me. And then we built all those drones, remember? And they were set to kill anybody who was a dissenter. And they were just butchering people in the street if they ever spoke a word about me incorrectly. Oh, it was so fucking good, dude. Like, everybody, it was so peaceful. And then the rebels attacked, so we built all those gun turrets that just mowed them down. It was so good. I actually played Frostpunk uh, on my laptop uh, when I was traveling to New Zealand recently. It was good. Uh, what's this? Uh, is that the end of our games card? No, nope. post-trauma. Ooh, scary one. Gimme. Oh, it's a happy game. Is that mannequin taking a shit? <laughs> mannequin taking a shit. Do you mind? <laughs> this is perverted. Uh, this lady's just taking a deuce in the corner, man. This looks like Silent Hill 4. The room. Just do what I say, Roman. That might be worth a look. I might not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be worth a look. If we get a little horror window going. I like it. Uh, I mean, especially as much fun as we had with, uh, was it Tormented Souls? When we played the hell out of that. That was good. Uh, Nightingale. Nightingale. The Fey Wilds await. And so too, Nightingale. Awaken your first portal and tread on towards that which is boundless. Some motherfucker's got to be playing a fife in this. Guarantee a fife. Sequestered. Struck by woe and lacking supplies. The question becomes, wilt thou be a survivor? I haven't got the VR set up at home. <clears throat> when we get back in the studio, I'll get the VR set up again. Regardless of which portal variety you favor. Oh, cards. Realm cards will be necessary. Open world multiplayer? Five from it. Ah, can fly. Let my words. I didn't see more than four steps. players though. 
Mm. If we can get the if we can get the community in there, that might be fun. <clears throat> oh, Grime Two, yeah! Bobby by is proud to announce Grime Two becoming the steal of the forums and sequels. Twenty One's acclaimed Metroidvania. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You guys remember Grime? Uh, we had the devs of Grime in there, taking the piss out of us, like guaranteeing I was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> the devs were in the stream. They were like, yeah, you fucked. You're so fucked. <laughs> so when we got to the last boss, they were laughing their ass off. You're like, you're so screwed. Oh, uh, good shit. Uh, Grime, Grime was like a side-scrolling um, Souls-like game. It was good. Were they wrong? I killed it pretty quickly, the last boss. But uh, I, I, refused, I was saving my potions for Grime 2, and now the day has finally arrived. Thank God. Uh, Humankind console release. I think that might be the end of the major stuff we got. Anything I missed from Gamescom? I think we've seen them all. Actually, a pretty solid lineup of games. Cyberpunk, yes. Uh, Armored Core, yes. Killing Floor, yes. Starfield, yes. Alan Wake 2 is a yes. Crimson Desert did grab me by the end of that trailer. That's a yes. Star Wars, eh. Eh. Sea of Stars, yes. Uh, Wukong, mayhaps. Mortal Kombat 1 is a no, just because uh, I'm not into fighting games at the moment. I hope I go through a period of that. This is an absolute 100% yes. All hands on deck, must play. And I would seriously, seriously recommend that if you've never played Little Nightmares, well worth it. Game of the year for me. Like, 1 and 2 were up there as my top games of the year each year they released. And I think they're also, like, pretty cheap now. Robocop is an unprecedented yes. Can't wait. It's going to be worth it. Uh, 16 quid and 25 quid on Steam. Uh, well worth it. And not too long either. Little Nightmares 1. Uh, nine hours, but we played it twice. Uh, because we replayed it before 2 came out. Yeah, so I think it's about four and a half first time, and then obviously much shorter the second time through. Uh, and Little Nightmares 2, six hours. So, but totally worth it. But play one before you play two. It's important. Uh, it's important. It's a really short, really dense... Uh, every second of the game is important. Is what I'd say. Every second of the game. It's very creepy, though. It is very, very creepy. If you're not into, like, really immersive, freaky games, um, it might not be for you, but it is very immersive and well worth the experience. <laughs> Will you do a dev interview for RoboCop? Uh, no. I don't know what this is. Have we got, thank goodness you're here, gameplay? I don't know what it is. It looks like Untitled Go Goose Game to me. Thank goodness you are here, game play. <laughs> what is the game? No, we've just got the reveal trailer. Okay. Yeah, we've just got the reveal trailer. So we don't really know what the gameplay is. We enjoy those games. I like those games. Uh, yeah, we had Robocop, Persona, no. Homeworld, 100% yes. Like, love love no i'm not gonna play for so all right fine it's the good memories that stay with you and gets people through their struggles but it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever i'm the one who chose to join you back then i didn't know what i was capable of that's all there is to it. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. The shadows are getting stronger. We need to destroy the Dark Hour itself. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. Yeah. Nothing beats getting actual combat experience. Fears cut deep within the gun. Oh, June Pays got your best. We expected as much, so don't be careless. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. 
I want to use this power to help me live my own life. Take this seriously. I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. Knowing the truth isn't everything, right? When that happens, I just go do something fun and forget about it. It sounds interesting. Don't tell me you forgot your promise. Go on. Nothing's gonna end. Not if we have anything to say about it. Your reason for fighting, huh? Man, I'm so damn scared. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. I want a purpose, and to have others I care about. That's why I came all this way. Even if you do forget about us, I'll remind you. Let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy Ah, I watched it. Okay, let's move on with our lives. <laughs> good, good, wonderful. Uh, all right. <clears throat> weaves unite. <laughs> no, no weaves unite. No, 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 no. Let's uh, get our drum server on. <laughs>